Babe, we're watching The Shining. No phones, no electronics. I'm looking up the cast, just a second. Is Shelley Duvall related to Robert Duvall? No, that's just a coincidence, actually. But, interestingly, her dad's name is also Robert. Okay, you're done. Wait, wait, I have to look up trivia. Oh, God. Did you know Jack Nicholson wasn't the first choice to play Jack Torrance? Seriously? No, a guy named Derek Coleman was supposed to play the part. Never heard of him. Okay, turn it off. Last night I read a passage from Mr. King's novel that resonated with me. Monsters are real. Ghosts are too. They live inside of us and sometimes they win. The character ultimately succumbs to the monsters and ghosts. I need to do that too. I have to go deeper. It's good to be back, Lloyd, he said gravely, and hooked his leg over a stool between a man in a between a man in a sharp blue suit. Lloyd. Good evening, Lloyd. Good evening, Lloyd. Good evening, Lloyd. What the hell are you doing? Can I help you? This is private property. I wasn't aware. You're trespassing. Vandalized my tree. Who offenses? Who the hell is Red Rum? It's nothing. I mean, obviously it's something or you wouldn't carve it into my tree. Who are you? What are you going to do, shoot me? I might. Yeah? Misty, you uh, forgot to give me the keys. Wait, what in the world? Derek Coleman? You know. 
this guy? Misty, it's it's Derek Coleman, the the famous movie actor. I I'm sorry. I'm I'm a huge fan of your films. Everything you've done. I don't care what he's done. I mean, he's he's vandalized our tree. Look, look. Thank you. Red rum. I gotta Wait, be going. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that like red rum from The Shining? What the hell is red rum? Uh, it, it's the word murder spelled backwards. <laughs> uh, wait, I'm sorry. Why are you carving a line from The Shining into our tree? Are they turning The Shining into a film? They're turning The Shining into a film, aren't they? Could you stop fawning over the guy that just carved murder into one of our trees? Uh, Misty, calm down. It, it, who cares? He's a Hollywood star. Uh, it really is an honor to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. So, uh, what's with The Rock? Is that some sort of actor thing? Yeah. Right on. So is that the script? Uh, can I please have a look? No, you can't. I can't show you that. All right. So, uh, what brings you out here to Wyoming? Is it because it's so isolated? You want to be isolated and alone like your character, like Jack Torrance. Exactly. Right on. Uh, there's a campsite about a mile from here. It's just right outside our property. Malcolm, enough. We have a lot of work to do back at the house. Uh, uh, Misty, just hush. Uh, please, just feel free to go there and camp so you can continue to do whatever it is you actors do to prepare. I appreciate that. And good luck out here. Thank you. <laughs> Derek Coleman in my backyard. <laughs> Whatever actors do to prepare. Has it ever occurred to you that I am stuck here until May 1st? 
because I have agreed to oversee the Overlook Hotel. Are you aware that I have signed a contract and accepted that responsibility? And that the owners have placed their complete trust and confidence in me to live up to that responsibility? Has that ever crossed your mind? Has it? Has it, has it, has it. Are those lines from the script? What? I'm sorry, are those lines from the script? I just overheard you rehearsing. I'm just such a big fan of The Shining. I've read it several times. You've uh, told if you, me. If you need me to uh, describe a setting or a character or anything, I'm, I'm pretty good with that. I'm all set. Have you watched Carrie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah. Carrie is by far and away my favorite horror movie of all time. Uh, did you have a chance to be a part of that at all? I mean, did you audition for any uh, roles? No, I didn't, Malcolm. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, oh no, no, not at all. Uh, is there anything I can help you with? No. I need to be alone. I'm doing whatever it is actors do to prepare. Uh, say no more. Um, just before I forget, uh, Misty wasn't too keen on the idea, but... Uh, I reminded her of your performance in your film Bound, and she changed her mind. Long story short, uh, we'd like to have you over to our cabin for dinner tonight. If you just follow this trail about a mile, you'll run right into it, and we'd like to make you some home-cooked food. I'll try. Well, uh, I'll take that as uh, probably see you later. <laughs> Misty and I will go ahead and clean right up and... Uh, you can stay in our guest room, but of course, that will be your choice. So, uh, I hope I'll see you later. See ya. What do you say we change locations? Lloyd. Are you having a good time, Danny? Good. I'm glad you're having a good time. I want you to enjoy every single second out here with me and your mom. Why would you ask me that? Did your mom say that to you? That I would hurt you? Are you being honest, Danny? It's very important to be honest. You know that I love you more than anything in this world. And that I would never let anything happen to you. You know that, don't you, Danny? Good. Wendy, let me explain something to you. Every time you come in here, anytime I can hear you or even sense that you're near, it breaks my concentration. You're a distraction. 
and every time I'm distracted, it takes time for me to get back to what I was doing. So we're gonna make a new rule, okay? From now on, when I am in here and you hear me typing, that means I'm working. When I'm in here and you don't hear me typing, that means I'm working. And when I'm working, that means don't come in. Understood? Do you think that you can handle that? Good. Jazz, Derek. Um, um, I'm just a little bit drunk right now. That's all. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm so sorry, man. I, the whiskey makes me act like a bit of an idiot. Right. Hey, uh, <laughs> here, a peace offering. I'm sad. <laughs> uh, you know. Pretty bummed you didn't come by the cabin for dinner earlier. I, I'm, I'm just such a fan, that's all. You've told me. <laughs> so, how did you get into movies? Uh, how do you become a Hollywood star? Hmm? I'm sick with the right version. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, I... I wanted to be a Hollywood star at one point. Uh, that's why I'm so into uh, movies and actors. <laughs> oh, oh, say, no, hey, uh, uh, the, the script didn't change too much from the book, did it? Because uh, I think the book is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Malcolm. What? Do you have any idea what I'm doing out here? Well, well sure, you're, you're you're getting ready for your movie. Right. I'm getting ready for a movie. A movie based off of The Shining. Right. Right. <laughs> and as a fan of The Shining, you understand that one of the key elements is the feeling of isolation, being alone. Right. Then why do you keep interrupting me? Oh, I was just coming this by. This is the third time you've interrupted me. You are making it very hard to get into character. Do you have any idea how important this is to me? What it'll do to my career? Well, I, I know that it'll just... No, you don't. You have no idea. You're a hick from Wyoming who spends his days chopping wood and living for a Saturday matinee because you don't have the courage to do anything meaningful with your life. You are fucking with my entire process. You are bringing me down. So I'm asking you to go back to your cabin or wherever you're from. Go back to your cabin and leave me the hell alone. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go!
back, Lloyd. What'll it be, Mr. Torrance? The usual, if you please. No charge? Whatever you say, Lloyd. Whatever you say. Now get going! Come on! Where were you last night, Malcolm? What happened to my campsite? I, I don't know. I was... I was angry at you. Are you aware? 
that I have a screen test next week. No. Did you think I'd have a hard time obtaining another script? No. I, I don't know. I was drunk. Did you think it'd be hard for me to get another copy of a popular best-selling novel? Derek, please. I'm sorry, okay? I'll do anything to make this right. Just please don't. Whatever it is you're thinking about doing, just please. Please don't. Please don't kill me. What do you think, Lloyd? I'm not gonna kill you, Malcolm. I wanna look down on you. I wanna look into your eyes and make sure you know how insignificant and meaningless you are. There's nothing that you could ever do that would ever disrupt my career or my life. Do you understand that? Yes. Good. What a worthless human being you are. Promise me you won't ever forget that. I, I promise. I prom Tell me how worthless you are. I'm, I'm worthless. Tell I'm, me how worthless you are. I'm worthless. I'm nothing. I'm never going to amount to anything. What the hell are you doing? A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. What will it be? Now, I'm awfully glad you asked me that, Lloyd. Because I just happen to have two 20s and two 10s right here in my wallet. I was afraid they were going to be there till next April. So here's what. You slip me a bottle of bourbon, a little glass, and some ice. You can do that, can't you, Lloyd? You're not too busy, are you? <laughs> no, sir. I'm not busy at all.